well that's the frame stripped down ready for preparation for painting the first thing we've got to do is to get off the old uh, oil the old grease and get the paint and the rust off back down to bare metal ready for priming so how are we going to get the paint off nitromores the old faithful but we must use rubber gloves followed by copious scrubbing with a wire brush both when I'm feeling lazy the good old drill and the rotating wire brush what an invention the next stage is to get rid of the paint nitromores, nitromores cap old paint brush, gloves, protective clothing so we don't splash it on ourselves Nice big dollop. Start dabbing it on. The secret is to dab it on, not brush it on. If we're just dabbing it on, we get a nice build up of layer. We'll leave the nitromores on now for about 5 to 10 minutes until the paint starts to bubble. Then we'll wipe it off with some wire wool and give it a scrub with a wire brush. one part of the frame at a time, so like the back triangle first, then we can do the front section later, then we don't end up with nitromoles absolutely everywhere. Water and wipe it off as quick as you can. As we can see here, the paint started to bubble up nicely. Okay, that's after about five minutes. Give it a bit longer, it should start working its way down. I don't know what they sprayed these bloody Harry holes with, but it's bloody tough paint. This first uh, layer of nice and wasn't really shifting it. You can see where some scrubbed off there, that's where it's lifted, and some there. Uh, if you give it a scrub with some wire wool, it comes off. But it hasn't touched it further down. So, what we need to do now is a good scrub with medium or coarse wire wool, which will scratch the surface of the paint and allow the nice and moors to penetrate underneath the paint and lift it off. So we'll give it a good scrub down with the wire wool. Leave it five or ten minutes, it should lift the majority of the paint off now. And with that last rub down and the scratching of the surface with the wire wool, look at that paint peeling off, baby. More peel than a Jaffa. So the same is happening and isn't happening to the mainframe. So once again, get a hack of medium or coarse wire wool, give it a good rubbing down, break the surface of the paint up, another coat of nitromores, it'll peel the paint up, I reckon two more coats and we should almost be clear of paint. We 
we'll need a change of tactic for getting rid of this old paint. The wire walls clog it up too much and I haven't got much left. So out with the old dun 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 wire brush. Okay, we're not gonna scrub it off by that sort of action because it's gonna flick nitromores all over my garage, all over my motorbike, all over everything. So we'll just do it in a steady backwards and forwards action. See how it's cleaning it off? Go over it like that. One more coat. And it's ready for some real work. Here's one for all you cheapskates out there. You need to get the last bit of nitromores out of your tin. Stand the knife, tin, pack it open, get the paint brush in lad. There she is, all stripped down, most of the paint off. What we've still got though is big blobs of nitromores on it. So we'll take that outside, take it to the tap and give it a good washing off with water which will neutralise the nitromores, leave it inside to dry overnight and then tomorrow we can give it a real good scrub with a wire brush get it right down to the bare metal ready for priming and painting change of plan, plan B not going to leave it in the house because the missus will go apeshit hot air gun, heat the tubes up it'll dry it off away we go Well almost all the paint's been removed now, what we're left with is a film of surface rust which is going to have to be removed because if we don't remove that in its entirety then eventually it's going to start showing through any final paint work we put on. There are going to be a few little bits that are going to be quite intricate to get into but with uh, a wire brush should be able to get all that surface rust off. What we're going to use to get rid of this surface rust is the good old faithful Black & Decker drill. 240 volts, not battery operated, that won't give you the power or the speed. And a rotary wire brush wheel. This one's a little bit knackered as you can see. But it'll do the job for the time being until I get out to the shops and get another one.